And as the last few go in, we send it upstairs for the call of the Kentucky Oaks to Larry Colts. Thank you, Mike. And pretty mischievous will be the last of these 14 Phillies to move into the gate. She goes in. They're all in line, ready for the start. They're off in the Longines, Kentucky Oaks. South Lawn had a great start and goes out to the early lead. But now there goes flying connection to the outside to take over, and she'll set the pace. North Vader goes right after her. Defining purpose is next. Then Mimi Kakushi. The mischievous on the outside is sixth. South Lawn had a great start. She's seventh right now. She's been taken back, and now she uh, took an awkward step there. And a couple of horses had to check. Promiser America and Tell Me No Lies both check as they go to the back stretch. So it's Flying Connection who leads the way on top three quarters of a length. Finding purpose on the outside, second North Vader is third. Mimi Kakushi fourth to the inside. Then Pretty Mischievous, followed by the Alice Look and South Lawn to the outside. Botanical is in behind them. Wet Paint is in the middle of the pack today. She's nine legs off the lead as they continue up the backstretch. 46.96 was the half. After that, it's back to Gambling Girl to the inside. Then in Tell Me No Lies, Wonder Wheel down toward the rail. Promise for America and Affirmative Lady at the back of the pack. Flying connection on top, moving for the far turn. Defining purpose alongside, North Vader outside of them. Pretty Mischievous is four wide as they make their way around the turn. Mimi Kakushi is under heavy pressure, and then comes the Alice look. South Lawn to the outside. Wet paint still about eight lengths behind as they come to the top of the stretch. And they're into the stretch of the Kentucky Oaks. And Pretty Mischievous has taken the lead on the outside. The Alice Look is trying to put in a run as they come into the final furlong. And here comes Gambling Girl. And she's coming with a rush in the center of the track. Pretty Mischievous to catch. Gambling Girl to the outside. Coming after her. Gambling Girl and Pretty Mischievous. These two down to the wire. Pretty Mischievous, Gambling Girl. Pretty Mischievous wins the Kentucky Oaks. Gambling Girl was second, then went paint, followed by the Alice Look, and North Vader, the final time was 149.77 seconds. The pretty mischievous story started right here at Churchill Downs, the horse's very first race back in September of 2022. Her first three races here, and pretty mischievous with Tyler Gaffleon aboard. Gaffleon gets his first Kentucky Oaks, and pretty mischievous comes away with the victory here at Churchill Downs. A nice talking trip. Jockey Tyler Gaffleon won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Philly on Wonder Wheel last fall. He ended. He opted to jump off her to pretty mischievous. So looks like a pretty good call to me. Always in good position, stalking on the outside, couple three links off the lead. It uh, looks like the addition of blinkers by trainer Brandon Walsh paid off because this filly was beaten soundly, three and a half links by uh, South Lawn in her previous race. So big improvement by Pretty Mischievous. They're three-year-olds, Mike. They beat each other all the time. <laughs> and there you talk with the charge by Gambling Girl, the three here in the stretch. Yeah, on the outside with the orange cap, she's coming on with a white bridle, bearing down on Pretty Mischievous through the deep stretch. A big improvement for her race. Yeah, it, this is this is how three-year-olds do. They, they're better sometimes each race, sometimes they regress. You know, it turns out Godolphin Stable had this race covered. You mm -hmm. know, they, they had wet paint, the favorite. Wet paint doesn't perform up to expectations, and yet they're in the winner's circle anyway with Pretty Mischievous. Brendan Walsh and, uh, and the Dubai ruling family have had a, uh, a long-term relationship in this sport. I think you made a good point. Wet paint was kind of mid-package this time instead of out the back, and it might have compromised some of her finish. She came she came closing moderately, but not that brilliant Not the closing same kick. wet paint kick we're used right. to seeing. I think the Alice look got up fourth third. It was tight there to Donna Brothers. Tyler, fourth time is a charm. You've been the leading rider here at Churchill down seven times, but this is your first one in the Kentucky Oaks. Can you talk about what this means to you right now? Uh, I can't even put it into words. It's just, it, it's amazing. Uh, I just feel so blessed to have these opportunities. I can't thank Brandon and the Godolphin team enough for letting me ride this filly around here. She's a tremendous filly, and she showed it today. A game full of highs and lows. Is this going to be one of your biggest highs so far? I would have to put it up there. This is also trainer Brendan Walsh's first win in the Kentucky Oaks. I'm sure he's listening right now. What do you want to say to him? Uh, it means so much to me. He's been such a huge supporter of mine since the beginning. Uh, we have a great relationship and have so much confidence every time I'm on one for him. Congratulations, well done.